Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I will be showing you the best, well, not, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's the best, but one of the best solo jailbreak grinding strategies. Uh, this is for private server. You probably could do it in public server, but it would be a little harder. You need to find a really small public server. So, um, if you want to do this, you're, it's, the, it's best to use any fast vehicles that are good for getting around so I'm going to be using the boat bike I recommend if you're on mobile using a helicopter like using a default one if you don't have any other helicopter so first we're gonna go well first I'm just gonna lower the value head so first what you're gonna do is go to the donut shop now the reason we're going here is because there's not much to rob besides this and the gas station yet, and then the car can open. So we're gonna come over here and hold down E and drop this. From this, we're gonna go over to um, the gas station. So once we, so we'll just go over to the gas station and the magic of editing, we will magically appear over there. Okay, now we are here. I think that was very magical. And also, if this helps you, um, then uh, like. So so far, you're kind of far into the video, so like and maybe consider subscribing. Uh, but you don't have to. Just you can. It would be nice. I would really appreciate it. So yes, now we're gonna come over here, um, and we are gonna go to the power plant. So the reason we're going to the power plant is because right now there's nothing else to rob but the power plant. Kind of, well there might be one other thing but I don't think so. And you have to rob the power plant really quickly. Yet this whole grinding strategy you have to do really really quickly or, uh, or you're not going to get the full amount of money and get all of it. Because like if you, you don't have to do it all the way but once you do a couple rounds, sometimes even for me, uh, I can't keep up with all the stores opening. But it's pretty simple, the grinding pattern. Or is it just me or did they add an extra laser? I think it's, um, just me. I think they had that before now that I look at it. Okay, it's right there. Um, nope, that doesn't go there. It just goes here. And then also, once you do this, um, you should save the last, uh, thing, the shortest one, I think. The, well, especially the shortest one. So, you get extra money. So, come over here, go as fast as you can. And now I'm gonna get the shortest one just in case it closes. That's why you don't wanna risk it. So, the museum just opened, which means, um, we have to go super quickly because then the next door will pop up. And if you want, if you want me to make a video on the best jailbreak grinding strategy for two, two, for more than one player, um, then maybe comment down below. Um, yeah. So let's come over here. Also, if you want, actually, never mind. So if you, the cargo train spawned and you still have your power plant money, then you're gonna have to go turn it in really quickly and head back to the cargo train. So that's why I said you have to be all quick with this method, but this is nothing close to as quick as you have to be for the for some other parts. So once you get here, head as fast as you can over to the cargo train. Um, and once you're at the cargo train, go ahead and rob it. So let's just get on. Uh, I think I'm gonna go here. Also, the, uh, this might be good. This strategy might be good if you have a jetpack. You don't need to use a jetpack, but sometimes it helps some people. Some people just really like using jetpacks. So if you can't get it here and you don't have a jetpack, I recommend just going on top of to the bridge of one of the bridges, like this one. Or you could just keep trying. So I'm gonna go on top of the bridge and get here and you have to jump so you don't get pushed and once that opens reach the vault and 
you should be in. Jetpack, you don't need to open the side door, but since I'm not using the jetpack, I will. Uh, also, with this grinding strategy, I recommend any million dollar vehicle but the monster truck. Because the monster truck, basically all it is is just the cyber truck, just more expensive. So if you, this is just totally unrelated, but if you are thinking about getting a monster truck, don't get it. Get the army heli or the volt bike or the blade because if you want monster truck for less than a hundred thousand, just get the cyber truck. It's basically exact same speed and um, can hold the same amount of people. So yes. Um, so after you come here, sorry, just one of my fans uh, coming into my jetwork server. Don't mind him. Um, once you get here, spawn yourself whatever car you use and this uh, this grinding strategy is best if you have mobile garage but you don't have to use mobile garage um, if you like are fine with running the cars and have most cars in the game then uh, then you can do, do with it without mobile garage so right now I recommend getting yourself anything that can you can do a glitch with because you'll be able to so you'll be able to come over here and I think you I so you can like get out of the jewelry store quick like all the stores you need to do because after that you have to be like really quick and get the next robbery so I'm gonna get the blade and do that quick um, so once you come over here head to the jewelry store and that will be the next robbery so, uh, let's get this. Also, uh, join my group. Uh, link will be in the description. Uh, join my Roblox group. Uh, it's really cool. And as you see, when we started, I had 15,000 and that quickly, just from that, from those, like, five, from those, like, four or five stores, I've gotten to 30,000. So 15,000 is really quick. So next what you're going to do is, I'm just going to put the blade up here. You can uh, do like the best glitch, the cheapest glitch for the jewelry store is get the Model 3 over around here and then stuff it in, stuff it into the, like smack the face of it in to the jewelry store and then you can get out. And if you want, I can show you how me and my friends do the museum glitch. It's really actually, it's really good. There's two ways we do it, but there's one way that we do a lot and it's really good. So let's just wait here and it's just open. So if the jewelry store open, come and punch here. This is the one break you get. So you might as well just get a good, uh, th all your supplies and materials you need. And this cargo train that comes here, you don't need, but after you rob, and the power plant you don't need. The power plant just opens early and then that you'll see what you have to do. Uh, so then you just get your full money. Uh, like I said, you have to be really quick because if you're not really quick, then uh, the next door will come really quickly and you won't be able to get to it. And that will just subtract 5,000 back. So, uh, let's head over here. Also, if you have the, if, if you want to rob the bank, you can, but it's not really needed. If you, if you have a key card, you might as well. So, next we're going to go to the cargo plane. See, uh, I just used the blade glitch because it's easy and it's easy to get out. So, make sure nothing gets stuck on that. And let's head over to this cargo plane. Also, if you want, you can get like one crate from the boat and then head to the cargo plane. That's only if you're using like the army heli or something. So, right now we're already at 32,000 and before, remember, we're at 15,000. So, after you rob this, uh, you'll be at like 37,000. So that's like a lot per, per, like, and this was only like five minutes, so. I'm um, not probably a lot more than five minutes, like less than 10 minutes though. So that's why, that's why it's so good. So once you get the cargo plane, well, 
The bad thing about the cargo plane is it takes a while to come in. But if you if you know any like special glitch for the um, army heli or something, you could get one of those crates. Or if they ever add a rope to this to this um, to the blade, then you could get the uh, cargo the cargo boat, which would be really helpful to get an extra like three thousand. So you're gonna come here and. Sometimes you even get a key card from this with a 1.6 chance from any of the crates. So I usually just get two crates. So first you're gonna wanna open the door. And then you're gonna, I recommend getting this crate or one of the back crates because those are most likely to give you up, I think. And then I recommend getting two because if you just get one sometimes it'll push you into the volcano. And that's what's really annoying. So once you get here, just wait for you to be able to do that. So I'm just gonna do some dancing over here. Okay. So let's just wait for the crates to show up. Okay. So now we can gonna inspect the crates, and let's get these. Okay, so I'm gonna get this one over here because I like it in these front two crates. Sometimes I get the front three. Um, also, if you want to rob the cargo plane, uh, you have and you don't get a key card, you have to have mobile garage and some car. Don't spawn the volt bike though; that doesn't work. But you can test out what cars work. And that's so then you go and turn this in, and after you turn it in, like this. Okay, so after you turn it in, that will be the end of the first round of your grinding strategy. So that gave us a pretty big amount of money, like 17,000 I think, like per seven minutes. So that's pretty good, uh, or per 10 minutes. Which is pretty good. If you want to add in the bank, that can give you a little more. And with friends, that even gives you even more because you get to rob the museum. So overall, this is a pretty good strategy. I use it a lot, and it's very good. I got to 700k in like a week. So yes. Um. So basically, the order is I'll put it on the screen and say it. Um. It's donut shop. A uh, gas station, um, power plant, cargo train, a uh, jewelry store, and or bank, and then you get the cargo plane, and then you just repeat. So that's basically how I get so much money in jail break. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. I'm the baby to the wall right now. Whee!